Oh, I'm oh, Superman. Oh, I'm oh, Batman. Wanna dance? Ah! I don't know what that was all about. Anyway, uh, it finally happened, folks. It finally happened. Batman v Superman on the big screen. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, and everybody's happy about it, right? Everybody loves this movie. Everybody is just overwhelmed with joy for this Zack Snyder film. Well, in a perfect world, that would be true. But apparently, that's not true. Apparently, this movie has received a lot of negative buzz. Um, mostly from mainstream critics. And it's kind of funny how... A lot of negativity from, like, common viewers and people who do YouTube reviews and written blogs. Kind of funny how there was a lot of neg that their negativity came kind of after the Rotten Tomatoes score. But I'm not here, I'm not here to judge anyone, I'm not here to say that somebody's, somebody's opinion is full of shit. That's not why I'm here. Um, I, I, I want to make it clear, and I promise you, that at the time of this recording, shut up, dog. That dog barking really loud. That dog never shuts up. But fuck you. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Um, I promise you, at the time of this recording, I, 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 I mean, because I saw this movie. It's Easter Sunday, okay? I really try to avoid the negativity and the the reviews, positive and negative. I didn't want to know specifics. It's just that when you're on Facebook and Twitter, and I'm not going to stay off Facebook and Twitter for three days, when you're on those formats, this stuff just kind of finds you. But I didn't read specifics. I, do, I don't know why people specifically have an issue with this film. Uh... So I promise you that I am doing this review and these are my thoughts. And I'm not really trying to go fully in depth because I really don't have that kind of time. I mean, you know, I got, I got, you know, candy, Easter candy to eat. And I got The Walking Dead to watch. So therefore, let me just give you what my thoughts, uh, the will be spoilers. And in case you can't tell, my my thoughts are over, not overwhelming. My thoughts are, for the most part, positive towards Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. Of course, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for. I've been waiting half my life to watch this film. For this this specific event to happen on the big screen, um, I've been waiting for it for a very long time. And I'm not, I, I wasn't worried about what any negative critic, uh, critical review was going to say. I was going to see this movie. So, I went in. I went in excited, in all honesty. I went in, uh, I, I, I knew more or less what the Rotten Tomatoes score was. I didn't, you know, again, I didn't look for it, but it was right there on, online. Um... But I didn't care. I was excited. So, as I'm sitting there watching the movie, I honestly was thinking, how can somebody call this a bad film? There are bad films out there. This is not one of them. Actually, if you have an issue with it, if you don't like it, that's fine. But, my goodness, in a day, in a, in a time when we had a movie like Fantastic Thor or Fan Thor Stick come out last year. I cannot understand how people would say that this is a bad film. Because I fully enjoyed it. Now obviously there are flaws. There are things that are wrong with it. I'll get to those in a minute. But let me just say that I am satisfied with this film overall. I enjoyed watching all this excitement, all these events happen on the big screen. Didn't get to see it in IMAX. I wish I could have. Uh, and I was just fully immersed by it 
at some point. Uh, some points I was kind of taken out of it. This film does have pacing issues. It does drag a little bit. Um, and there's a lot of like hallucinations that the characters have or dream sequences that I didn't think were necessary. One thing I did not think was necessary, and I want to ask, how many damn times are we going to see Martha and Thomas Wayne die? How many times? I'm kind of tired. They die on screen more often than freaking Kenny from South Park. I mean, my goodness, we know that they died. <laughs> like, if they were worried about, of course, this is the introduction of Batman in this particular uh, universe, in this particular format, then fine, you know, tell us that his parents died. But my goodness, I'm tired of seeing it. Um, so that, that, was a, that was an issue. It wasn't a big issue, but... Um, yeah, some of the dreams and the, the the hallucinations and everything, I just didn't think were necessary. The nightmare that Batman has, great sequence, cool sequence, great single take action so shot of of uh, Batman shooting people, uh, you know, just kicking ass and getting his ass kicked. Great sequence. Of course, it was a dream, it was a nightmare. I just, I don't know why it was necessary, but whatever. There were quite a few things in this film that were unnecessary. Now, I'm not going to cover everything in this video, so anything that I don't cover and you want to know about, you want my opinion on, you can just comment down below and I'll, you know, we'll have a discussion that way. But right now, I'm just kind of doing this, I'm just kind of winging this right now. Again. I want to get to watching Walking Dead. So, as for the Trinity, I'll keep this going. I want to make sure this stays on the screen because I, I love this image. As for the Trinity, this is definitely more of a Batman film than a Superman film. I can tell they try to kind of even it out, but I feel like this had a stronger presence for Batman. And I think it's because, what, Ben Affleck is an Oscar winner, you know, you want to make him happy. So, let's, let's talk about Batman and Bruce Wayne. I really enjoy Ben Affleck, and I know that there's this uh, sad Affleck video going around. I think it's hilarious, but in all honesty, Affleck is in no way guilty of any wrongdoing in this film. I think he did a fantastic job. I really bought him as both Bruce Wayne and um, Batman. The Bruce Wayne that he's playing has obviously been, been around for a while. He's hardened, you know, he's not quite the playboy he used to be. He's really more focused. And, and the way the movie starts with watching the events of what happened in Metropolis to his eyes, you can definitely see why he has a chip on his shoulder. So I think he, he demonstrated that anger very well throughout the film, and that skepticism that he has towards Superman, that hatred and skepticism, it, it definitely was felt very much so. As Batman, I thought he was great. I, I mean... I do think that maybe there should have been more events with him as Batman before the fight, the big fight. Um, but I really just enjoyed uh, seeing him in action, seeing him do what he, ha what he had to do. Uh, I, I, I think every action sequence that involved Batman was fantastic. and. I, um, what am I trying to say here? I love that sequence when he, when he attempts to rescue Martha Kent. Holy shit, that is awesome. Love that. That's probably my favorite sequence right there. Um, so let's move on to Superman. I love Ben Affleck as Batman. My sister thinks that he's probably the best Batman ever. 
and I don't, I don't, so I, I love Michael Keaton. Because if there's one thing that is a flaw in this film, is that even though they try so hard to kind of, you know, give each character enough time to really develop them, that's one of the things lacking in this film, is a really in-depth character development. Um, I will, I mean, I feel that the performances were rather basic. The basic ideas were out there for all the characters. And of course we know who these characters are through comics and cartoons and all kinds of other stuff. We know who these characters are, but I feel that the portrayals on screen in this film were a little basic. I don't think they really went fully in depth with some of these characters. But again, it is a it is a rather crowded film, so you really can really do only so much. But what are you gonna do? As for Superman, Clark Kent, you don't get a whole lot of him. I wanted to see a little more of Superman. I wanted to you definitely get a little bit of a hint of frustration that people are calling Superman a false god, a threat. I think I wanted that explored more. I wanted more anger, maybe more sadness from Clark Kent, Superman, kal -El. Um, I'm hoping, again, there is a director's cut coming out. So I don't know if any further exploration is going to be put on this, uh, on, on that cut, but... I think that it was just lacking a little bit. Um, I didn't really get a... Uh, I didn't really feel a very emotional performance, performance from Henry Cavill. Um, and again, it, it really does seem like this is more of a Batman film, which is kind of disappointing. I love Batman, obviously, but I just wanted it to be a good mixture. And it wasn't quite that. Uh, so, let's move on to Wonder Woman. Definitely the highlight, definitely the one character that everybody had their eye on. Um, not the one character, I think most of us have our eyes on many of the characters. Um, including Lex Luthor, who we'll get to next. Wonder Woman was fantastic. I mean, you have to understand that she has her own movie coming out next year, so they kind of pulled back, they didn't want to make it about her, but she definitely was designed to be the scene stealer of the film. She definitely do did that. She stole the show in a great, awesome fashion. Now, Gal Gadot is somebody that I will admit, I was criti critical on the casting. She's a very beautiful woman, but after seeing her in the Fast and Furious movies, I will admit she looked too skinny. But I give the girl credit. I give I I after I saw her working out and preparing for the role, I was like, you know what? I'm in. She's doing her homework. She's doing what she has to do. I will give her credit. And I gotta tell you. Seeing her on screen as Wonder Woman was awesome. It made my sister cry. The Wonder Woman is my sister's hero. She used to love watching the Linda Carter series. She always refers to herself as Wonder Woman. So to see Wonder Woman on screen in action, kicking ass, and even at times smiling, to the camera. I think they did a fantastic job with her. I, I definitely enjoyed every moment with Wonder Woman. Diana Prince, I think she did I, I, I actually think she did a good job with Diana Prince. Um, but I would really like to have seen more of her before she turned into Wonder Woman. But either way, loved her. Loved her, loved her, loved her. Um, there's really not a whole lot of, even though this movie has a good cast, really, I think all you can really talk about are Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and of course, Lex Luthor. 
I'll get to him in a second, but everyone else is just kind of like there. You know, they have a few standout moments. I'm a little disappointed with uh, Lois Lane. Uh, not Amy Adams. Amy Adams did what she had to do. She did what she was told. But I wish they would have kind of developed her a little more. She's still, I'm, I'm still not convinced that she's proper Lois Lane material. I like her, the character, because I like Amy Adams, but to me she really just seems like Amy Adams. So that's kind of an issue. But anyway, everyone else, whatever, they're there. Jeremy Irons was cool. Um, could have used a little more of him, but I digress. So Lex Luthor. Let's get to Lex Luthor. Played by Jesse Eisenberg. Yes, I was pissed when they initially casted him. I was like, no fucking way. Uh, I'm not saying that Eisenberg is not a good actor, and I like him. I'm a, somewhat of a fan of him. But as Lex Luthor, no. No, 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 no. I need a confident, intimidating, strong, slightly older Lex Luthor. I get that there were characters, there, there were interpretations of the character in the comics that had him as a geeky, nerdy guy, but that's not what I wanted. But I put that aside, I put that, like, like no, you gotta understand, Gabe, this is a new take, this is Zack Snyder's vision, this is a, a different version of Lex Luthor. Let's be positive. I will admit though, every time I saw him in the trailers, every time he talked, I cringed a little. I got very worried, but I went in to this film with an open mind. I'm like, I am not going to hate this guy. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Come on, Eisenberg. Impress me. Well, I admit that I like ideas that this character Presents. I like some of the dialogue that Eisenberg says. I like his sinister tone. And I was talking about, you know, my sister, my sister, she flat out does not like Eisenberg's performance in this. Doesn't like the portrayal. And I intend, I, I have to agree with her. Everything that I was worried about is just, it's there. I'm still not a fan of Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I'm not saying he did a bad job, but I don't like the idea of Lex Luthor, who, in, in every interpretation, Smallville, the, the Donna Superman movies with Gene Hackman, uh, Kevin Spacey in, in uh, Superman Returns, I should mention Michael uh, Rosenbaum in... Uh, Smallville. I used my favorite Lex Luthor, in all honesty. And even the, the cartoon series and everything. Lex Luthor to me is somebody who should not flinch, who should not shake, even though he is face to face with a god, with an all powerful being. He should be intimidating, he should be confident, he should not, he should stand on two feet and basically be a little Superman, or, or just say really uh, intimidating things. This Lex Luthor should be a powerhouse. And Eisenberg's portrayal doesn't do it for me. I'm not saying I, I hate the performance. I hate I, uh, Eisenberg, but I still don't care for it. I wasn't a big fan of Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. He's shaking. He, you know, he, he's, he's maniacal. And, and Lex Luthor is not supposed to be maniacal. Sinister, yes. Uh, intelligent, yes. But not maniacal. I think Eisenberg would have made a better Riddler, in all honesty. But, uh, there were times that he shook. He, you know, he's, you know, doing his fast talking, you know. For Eisenberg, he kind of slowed down his speech patterns. I just... I don't want to hear Lex Luthor's voice crack when he's delivering his 
a sinister plot. And he does, in, in this movie, his voice cracks, and I don't care for it. Um, so, I'm sorry, but I'm not a big fan of Eisenberg as Lex Luthor still. Um, I just, I just don't got it. So, as for the fight, yeah, oh, it was awesome. It was great. I, I definitely got my adrenaline pumping when it was happening, but I, uh, I got it. It was kind of short. It was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. And it's really funny because I do like how Lex Luthor instigated the fight. How he manipulated the fight. Superman had 35 minutes to save his mother. And Lex is basically telling him, kill Superman or your mother dies. So he had 35 minutes. So I expected, I didn't expect a 30 minute fight, but I expected a much longer fight. It was like a few minutes, and it was good, but I really wanted it to be longer, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the fight with Doomsday was fun. A lot of people don't, I know that people have complained about the CGI, and oh it's so awful. I really don't know what anybody is expecting, I really don't get it. I mean, the last time we had a non-CGI Doomsday, that didn't turn out so well. Smallville, I'm referring to Smallville. Uh, I didn't like it, honestly. In all honesty, I didn't think it was that bad, but it wasn't well received. I liked the sequence. Again, I loved Wonder Woman kicking ass and slicing him up. And I liked the struggle that... Superman went through to to try to take down Doomsday and Batman in all honesty was totally out of his element and it showed and I like that. I like that you know, I love Batman and I know he does he always prevails, but in this situation he's never faced this type of situation and in this film you can tell that he kinda didn't he kinda let Wonder Woman handle the fight while he was trying to think about how do I take this fucker down. So I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed that sequence. But do I think they should have put Doomsday in the film? Not yet. Not this one. I don't know who they could have picked to bring the, tr the Trinity together. I don't think he should have been Doomsday. It could have been somebody else. Could have even been a, a brand new made up character. And then we have the death of Superman. Come on, we all know how that turns out. We all know he's going to rise again. I just don't think it was time. I, I don't think they should have done it in this film. Um, and I didn't really get emotional towards it. Uh, I just, I think it was just too soon. Yeah. All in all, I liked the film. I liked it a lot. I can't say I love it. I can't call it awesome. I, you know, my biggest uh, issues with it is that it does drag. It does have a lack of really in-depth and rich character development. Um, there are some characters that I would have liked to have seen more, have more screen time. Uh, for people calling it, for people saying it's not fun, I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. I had a fun time. Uh, not, you know, obviously the Marvel films have more of a brighter tone, but this, I was satisfied with this film. I think Zack Snyder did a fine job. I, I don't get the hate. I really don't. Again, I don't even know the specifics as to why people hate it. I will look into that. I will listen to both positive and negative reviews. I don't know. I, I thought about doing a reaction to some of that stuff. I don't know if I will or if I won't. But my reaction is, I give Batman vs Superman, Donna Justice, a 4 out of 5. There you go. So once again, if you, if I didn't cover something that you want to know my opinion on, um, 
by all means, put it down in the comment section. Uh, I hope you can respect my opinion on this film. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was worth the wait. Could have been better, but I'm satisfied with the outcome. And I'm very excited to see future DC films. Bye bye, guys. Um, so that's it. I'm going to leave you at that. I, I talked enough on this video. I don't know how long this video is. I'm afraid to look. But thank you for watching. If you did, in fact, make it to this point, give me a thumbs up if you will. Uh, subscribe if for some reason you're not subscribed to me already. There's plenty of reasons not to be subscribed to me, but that's okay. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, you're still cool with me. Peace out. What's up?